Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can download TikTok videos onto your computer. Let's get right into it. So, we're going to be using Python, and before we begin, you're going to need a web browser installed on your computer. It doesn't need to be open, but you would, you'll need to have opened TikTok on this web browser with cookies enabled, because this Python package uses that to download the videos. After that, we're then going to need to do some pip install commands. So, you can either in your Python console do pip install, then the following packages I'm going to go through. Or, if you're in Visual Studio, you can go to the Solution Explorer, and then go to your Python environments, and right click on your environment and go to Manage Python Packages. And then you can type in the Python package names, and then click on pip install, and then whatever the name is here. Firstly, we need to do PyTalk. So if you're in Visual Studio, you can just type PyTalk here and then click run command pip install PyTalk. Otherwise, you could do pip install PyTalk. Now on the screen, I have got a few other packages you're going to need to install. So you can do pip install, then the name of the package. It will also be in the description below so you can copy and paste them. This could take a few minutes to install. Once you've done that, we've got three lines of code. That's right, it's very simple. So, we're going to do import PyTalk as PYK. So here we're importing into the project the PyTalk package we've just imported. Then we're going to do pyk.specify underscore browser, then the name of the browser. The documentation recommends Chrome or Firefox. So I'm going to be using Chrome. Then we can do pyk.save underscore TikTok. Then we do the URL of the TikTok video. Then we're going to do true. This doesn't matter just for the context of downloads in the video, but for other functions in this package, this true will matter. And then we also have data.csv. And I'll show you what that is when we actually test the code. But that's it for the code for this video. So what we do is we do control S to save our work, and then we hit the play button. Don't worry about it saying we strongly recommend you use specify browser because we've done that. And as you can see, we saved the video, which is great. So let's close the program and then close the Python environments here. And if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project and go to open folder in File Explorer. So here we have saved the video to an MP4 file and it's located right next to our Python file. This is going to be where your video is downloaded to. So if we click on it, we can watch the video. And as you can see, it is the video. Granted, I've muted the volume because I don't want to be copyright striked, but the video and music is all there. And you've noticed there's a CSV file. So I'm going to open it up. And basically, it's downloaded a bunch of metadata like the video ID, the video timestamp, duration, location, and a bunch more. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.